This video is an update of the U.S. housing market against softwood lumber prices for the end of May 2024. Hello again, everyone. Kata Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. Here I am to give you another update about U.S. housing, housing starts, single family starts, and permits against my lumber prices. As I explain often, the housing data comes out on a lag of about six weeks. And so here uh, at the end of May, we have April starts. And the lumber prices are every week for that week. So I'm showing you in advance of the next housing starts update, what is happening with lumber prices. So the latest update came out uh, last week and the week before for the new home sales and the housing starts and it's uh, as expected is not up uh, we look at year over year the monthly data yes it's important um but you know for example march of 2023 is quite different from june of 2024 right the month-over-month uh, -month changes can be volatile. That uh, previous data does get reassessed and is adjusted in the following release. And so for most of this year, since the end of last year, the housing starts have been quite up and down. So one month up compared to the month before, the next month down, same with the permits. But when you look at year over year, it's pretty flat, maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of an increase. And that's the same trend line that we have for the lumber prices. So given that lumber is, you know, by far the single uh, largest input, the one single commodity uh, and expense used in housing, and the housing market is by far the largest uh, consumer of North America lumber, these two uh, indicators play into each other quite well. So let's look at some of the graphs and I'm going to show a little bit more than I usually do because we're in a, it seems the beginning of what is the next phase. Everybody's been asking since the end of 2022, what is the new normal? Where will we be? What is the price bottom? Where can we say this is the level after all of that incredible volatility, which never happened before and, you know, in all likelihood will never happen again, certainly not in the combination that it did. Since then, where has everything landed? We know that costs are up. We know that there are other constraints on the private consumer, on businesses. Internationally, there are things going on that are unpredictable and we don't know how they're going to turn out. And so... Being able to stop now and have a bit of a look at something resembling a level to let us know how can we expect things to go from here. Madison's is here every week with the new price update for the construction framing lumber. And so as this year goes on and these questions get answered, look to us to let you know before anyone else. All right, and so here we have housing starts in the U.S. The purple line at the top there is total starts. The green line in the middle is single family or one unit starts. And the blue line is the Madison's Lumber Prices Index, which is constructed in the same methodology as the new lumber futures. Uh, and showing you in advance what could be coming out from the housing starts, which is monthly. And so in April, the housing starts were up compared to March, but in March they were quite a bit down compared to February, and same thing happened uh, in January and December. So 1.36 million new units started in April in the U.S., which is almost flat compared to April of 2023 when it was 1.368 million. For single family, it was 1.031 million units, and we watch that very closely because single family starts are the largest component of new home building and uses the most wood out of all construction methods. And drilling down into some real detail here, uh, the lumber prices index is heavily weighted towards this item, Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4 number 2 and better. 
similar to how futures are constructed. And so for this very week at the end of May 2024, that price is U.S. $384 per thousand board feet, flat from the previous week, and down $46 or 11% from one month ago when it was $430. Compared to the same week last year when it was $350, this price now is up. $34 or 10%. And compared to two years ago, again, when we were having all of that volatility was just starting to end, that price was $700, which is now down $316 or 45%. And so going forward, we can really expect a little bit more leveling off and better stability with prices. So here's some more detail about the single family, the most important uh, aspect of home building for the lumber industry. And permits are also quite important because it is a forward-looking indicator of what to expect in the coming two months for new ground breaking. And so total building permits fell 3% uh, compared to March to 1.44 million units. uh, And single-family permits were actually almost flat compared to March at a rate of 976,000 units. And again, you can see the lumber prices index the blue line dropping in the forward month does that mean the next housing starts release to come out for may will be down if lumber prices tell us the story they will be down however this might be a temporary blip in the lumber prices as customers have really been pushing back on the mill prices and trying to get the price lower. So the only way to know is to keep checking back. Okay, and so it's not particularly encouraging where people might have been thinking, you know, the housing starts need to increase. They haven't been keeping up with the demographic. Yes, this is all true, uh, but the macroeconomic conditions are making things, you know, tepid and slower. And so for now, this is where we're at. Looking forward, what I'm going to say, given my experience and the way that I've seen things happen in the last 20 years since I first started working for Madison's, it looks like this year will just be a small blip of construction, six weeks. That's happened before in the past. We have seen years where there was three months of full-on you know housing going up all across the continent wood being sold everybody's working Uh, but we've also seen years like this where the run-up of prices sort of february march april did not materialize and now at this time of year normally they would be flattening out you know seasonally uh regardless And so given all of these uh, different factors of, uh, you know, muted situation, it does seem that this year will be, you know, a six week construction season. Almost everyone who is building has the wood that they need, that they've already ordered and indeed probably received from the supplier and now only needs fill in or, uh, something specific that they ran out of on the ground, not building inventory, okay? It is early days and things can change. I would say if there is a change in the situation for the lumber market, it will be supply side with fire or some other issue impeding the mills from either harvesting timber or shipping the lumber out, okay? And so I'll stop that now. We will do another update next month when the next housing, I do the lumber updates a little bit more often. And so if you like what you see, subscribe here on YouTube so you will be notified when we make another video. Click like so this content will be offered to other viewers. And if you do need to see more than the small, small snapshot that we put on YouTube or the website, go to my website here. There's a link in the caption. You can fill out the form to request a sample. You will see those 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices that we track and what the price is for that week. And you will get the commentary. This all goes into the dashboard that my customers get to see when the new price is updated every week on Thursday and they can log in Thursday night or Friday morning 
and see what is happening with the lumber market.